Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is August 10th and this is my weekly shop update. So it's been a pretty busy week for me. I'm just catching up from everything that I've kind of missed and I've been behind on since I took some time off. And unfortunately I didn't finish the bassinet video this week, but I am working on it. And if you're a follower on my Facebook page, I did post a, I guess I call it a preview, but it's really like a chunk of the video that I have pretty close to being done, which is the very first segment of um, cutting up the slab into project parts and milling it all up and all that fun stuff. So that was one chunk and I'm really trying to get it, or I really want to get this into one video and I'm trying to keep it under 20 minutes. And there is a lot, oh, mosquitoes again. There was a lot of a uh, lot going on in that build. When I sat down to start editing it, I really forgot like how much stuff there is. And there was a lot of things that I wanted to go into as far as detail went to kind of explain some things as I went. And it's just like, there's a lot of stuff in that build. <laughs> and I just totally forgot about it, how involved it was. I have over a hundred video files that, I, that I've gone through and I've organized. And I'm hoping again to get under 20 minutes, but I got it broken up into, I think, eight different sequences. And I finished up the first two, which are the long ones, the, uh, the milling of the slab and then the joinery on the side assemblies. So that's where that is at. Uh, once I get that done and I have that post, I have a lot of great ideas for a lot of um, smaller videos, tip videos, in the shop kind of videos that I want to get done and out as well. So I'm looking forward to getting the bassinet video done because I'm really, really excited to get that out. So I'm really excited to show it to everybody or share, share that build with everybody. And so I can get into filming some of the other things I have, that I've had floating in my mind for some, some time now. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Ha! Ha! Got you. Wow. Oh, get me. Too. I left the door open again. <laughs> so in the shop this week, I did spend some time down here. As you can see, I started planing all of my cutting board blanks. I when I pulled out the blanks, the or when I pulled the stack of blanks apart, it was seven feet tall, and there are 49 blanks in there ranging in, in size from uh, four feet all the way down to like a foot long. And I got them all planed up and I have seven more to go. But this is the whole seven foot stack. It's now about probably like three feet tall. It'll probably be four feet tall when it's done. So from seven feet down to like four feet, three feet of planing, which is, that's a lot of planing. So a lot of chips and stuff this past week, but it's nice to kind of get a little more organized and I don't have to worry about it falling on me anymore. Or that's what Harry always said. He's always worried about it falling on me. It didn't fall on me. It was there for like two months, didn't fall. <laughs> but now it's obviously a lot more stable. And I'll keep going with this and get those cutting boards done and ready to go and they'll be for sale on my website. I also posted a few of the slabs and a few other slabs on the website today actually. Um, these small well, maple slabs, yeah, the small maple slabs that I showed last week, I actually sold four of them already, and one of them is up there right now, and I still have to post one more. So there's two more of those left, and I posted some cherry slabs as well on there. The other big thing this week is I got really far on the flooring project. That's getting just about done, so I'm really happy about that, because, yeah. <laughs> so let's go take a look at the flooring project, and then we'll head back down here to the shop, and I have a channel recommendation for you. So I made a lot of progress this week and I only have a little bit left to do here. Probably going to be another three rows. Two full rows and then a partial one that I'll rip to fit in the width there. But overall the, um, the distance on this side compared to the distance on that side is only off by an eighth of an inch. That's pretty good so it means that the two walls are probably pretty close to parallel which is going to be nice when I go finish it. Now I stopped here because there's a few things I want to take care of before I keep going. Uh, I have these network cables here coming out of the floor. I'm going to reroute those around the corner here and then put them into this box right there. And the other thing I'm going to do is take the heater off the wall. I have to do that at some point anyway because I have to remove the last of the, um, what do you want to call that, the wall board stuff, the wall paneling from behind it and I want to reroute this gas line so it comes out the wall instead of coming up through the floor. So that's what's going on here. And this row here 
is the last one that I can actually fit the flooring nailer in. I can just barely get in there and swing and hit it. On the next one, I can't even get the nailer in there, so I'll be going to just the uh, finished nailer for the last three rows. But overall, it's looking really great. I guess I lied. I also have a clip about the lighting here in the shop. So let's take a look at that. All right, so let's talk lighting. So over the bench, I have these um, lamp kind of fixtures. And for whatever reason, three of the fixtures are, are out. And it's not the bulbs, because I tried them in that one, and all the bulbs work just fine. So something's going on with these fixtures, and I'm not really sure what. I also have this fixture here where the I think the ballasts are out. The ballast, the one ballast in it, I guess, is out in this one. And with these things, the ballast costs more than what I paid for on these lights anyway. So this one's out, and then I have one over there where my jointer, which is out also. Also, I think that's the bad ballast. So what I'm going to do is I picked up one more of these fixtures. I'm going to put that one here, kind of in this bay, right next to this one. And then I may get another fixture and put it right there in that bay. So I'll have, uh, what, two more fixtures over here? Yeah, <laughs> so I'll have two more fixtures over here, which should give plenty of light over the bench for uh, videos. And then, I don't know, I'm not sure what I'm going to do over here. Maybe I'll put another fixture over here and get rid of this other uh, cheapy shop light. Those are just the old lights I had at my old shop before I moved here and put in the uh, fixture style things. The actual 8 foot fixtures. 8, eight foot 4 bulb fixtures. So that's my plan on a little bit of lighting. That should help make it easier to light the shots for all the videos. So this week's channel that I'm going to recommend is take a look at David Booth's work. David, I've never heard you say your last name, so I'm going to go with what I'm considering a French pronunciation of your last name. You let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> but David does some really amazing period furniture work. If you've seen my secretary desk and you're interested in anything like that and all the detail work that goes into that, check out David's channel. He does a really nice job of taking you through the whole process. It's more of like a blog style where you just kind of he shows you as he's going uh, maybe five or ten minutes of footage of him working through the project some tips and it's just nice it's a lot of fun Dave is a really nice guy I've spoke to him online a few times really nice guy uh, check out his channel I think you'll really like it a lot of great information so David just finished up building a oxbow chest of drawers and I'll link out to the last video in that in that project so you can take a look at the completed piece and you can go back and watch the full series I think it's like 16 videos but again he did a really great job taking you through the whole project and I actually learned a lot of things from David's uh, channel and his videos. So thank you, David, for your awesome videos. And if you're interested in period furniture work, check out his channel. It's a great one. One of my favorites. <laughs> Baby's doing great, by the way. He is amazing. Um, we also are doing a family daily vlog. If you want to check a take a wow. If you want to check that out, I've been doing a vlog now every day for the last. I think it's been 10 days since August 1st. So a little more behind the scenes stuff there as well. Um, I think that's it. So yeah, woohoo! <laughs> it's like 11.30 right now and I got a long night ahead of me. Oh yeah! Also, <laughs> tomorrow, Tuesday, it'll be a new episode of the Matt and Matthew show. On that show we interviewed Matt Kenny from Fine Woodworking. Really awesome guy, really funny. I had a great time talking to him. And then in two weeks we're gonna have a shop tour with him where he just shows around a shop and he's got a nice little setup there. So. Look for that in your subscription box tomorrow morning, or depending on when you watch this, I guess it was, it'll be there on Tuesday morning, the 11th of August. <laughs> so thank you as always for watching. Sorry for my goofiness. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything here in my shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I appreciate those, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking. <laughs>